Hi everyone, so welcome again. This is basically the episode number six, where I'm going to test the most failed components in motherboards. So guys, this is one of the most important episodes in this masterclass, where I'm going to teach you how to test 8P MOSFET, the most failed component in computer motherboards. Very important, my friends. Any electronic student technician should know how to test 8P MOSFET correctly in order to avoid removing good MOSFETs. And of course, this episode today is based on one comment of one of my followers. That's why, guys, I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments, so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. So my friends, without wasting time, let's dive in. Let's test HP MOSFETs using the multimeter. So guys, of course, to test the MOSFETs in general, we have to select the diode option. Why? Because the MOSFET contain a diode inside it. So let's select the diode option like this, my friend. So first, my friend, we have to locate the source and the drain so do you see here guys we have this white mark here means this is the pin number one okay three pins are for source okay and over here we have the gate and those four pins are, are for drain so of course for beginner the four pins as you can see are connected together and also the three pins for source are connected together so to test this mosfet my friends you have just to put one probe in the drain everywhere in every pin here and the other probe in the source do you see guys here we have a problem we get a low reading but my friend this is not a short because this is what i want to tell you and to teach you many technicians and beginners when they check some mosfets and get a low reading like this they thought that this is a short and then they remove the mosfet no my friends this mosfet is not shorted it's normal because this mosfet belong to the cpu circuit if i remove the cpu my friends for example the low reading will go do you see guys we have a high rating, about 50 drop voltage. Means this MOSFET is good one. Let's check this one also, guys. You see, high rating, drop voltage, this one. The same, it's not shorted, this one. Also high rating. But my friends, if I put the processor back, and root check the MOSFETs again, I have low ready. All MOSFETs, if we check this one, for example, also low ready. Guys, this is not a short. This is just happen when MOSFETs belong to CPU circuit or other chipsets like Northbridge, GMCH, ICH, PCH, etc. So let's check those MOSFETs basically, my friends, that belongs to 3V, 5V circuit. We have to find a high rating between drain and source. As you can see, my friend, 700 drop voltage. This one also. Do you see 500 drop voltage? Those here, 700 drop voltage. This one also here, 400 drop voltage. 
So this is, guys, this is how we test MOSFETs. But please don't forget that MOSFETs near to chipsets will give a low drop voltage. It's normal. Guys, we cannot explain MOSFET without talking about N-channel and P-channel MOSFETs. Very important. Are you confused between N-channel and P-channel MOSFETs? Wondering when to use which? In this video, I'm breaking it down in the simplest way possible. Let's go. Guys, very simple. For N-channel, the current flows from drain, remember, from drain to source. But for P-channel, the current flows from source to drain. But here is the most important thing, the gate control. Okay, my friends, for N channel, it turns on when the gate is more positive than source, means we need positive voltage. But for the P channel, it turns on when the gate is more negative than the source, means we need negative voltage. For example, plus 8 volt DC. Here, for example, minus 15 volt DC. Guys, I will give you right now a real example. When we can use an N channel and when we can use a P channel. Let's, for example, See, we have here a fan, okay? We have a fan over here. For laptop, for example. Here we have the power. Okay, my friends. And over here we have ground. So, between fan and ground, we use what? We use N-channel MOSFET. Okay? And between here, and between the fan and power, we use what? We use P-channel MOSFET. So P-channels are used when it comes to power and N-channel used when it comes to ground. So right now, guys, I will make a comparison between N-channel MOSFET. Let's see here we have N-channel. Okay. And here we have P-channel. Okay, good. Let's see here, for example, we have feature or features. So guys, for the gate control, okay, for the gate control, this is a summarize for beginner. For N channel, we need positive voltage. For P channel, we need negative voltage to be activated. For the current flow, Please remember, this is the most important. For N channel, channel, from drain to source. For P channel, for, from source to drain. Okay, the current. Here we have current flows. Basically, why we use very often N channel? Because the efficiency, okay, efficiency, my friend, here is high. The efficiency, my friend, here is high and here the efficiency is lower. And also, the end channel are very cheaper in terms of cost. Here we can put cost and P channel are pricer. So, these two characteristics is what made the end channel are very famous MOSFETs that we find everywhere because it has a higher efficiency and cheaper in terms of cost. So my friends, I hope that you understand about how to test MOSFETs. Basically, I give you the very simplest way to test MOSFETs. By testing between the source and the drain, you have to get a reading, a reading, okay, in the multimeter. But if you get a low reading like this in the multimeter, means zero, okay, 
like this means the MOSFET is shorted and of course to change the MOSFET you have to use another MOSFET with the same reference or same same part number and as I told you my friend MOSFETs are the most component that failed in motherboards and in power boards and of course I cannot pass without explain for your internal and picture because the most important when it comes to MOSFET is understanding the difference between internal and picture MOSFET and guys please for example if you find an internal a failed internal MOSFET never replace it with a picture or picture replace it with internal if you do so you will damage do control IC. So I hope that you understand. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell icon because I will test in a daily basis new component. And as I told you, I will test all this component here and many others. So guys, I need your likes and to share the video with other friends in order to help the channel. Thank you very much and see you with another component.